Hello and welcome back to the Dandelion Diaries. I have a very exciting package. So I am an affiliate with Atlas Stationers and this is my most recent order. I'll have the link in the description if you're interested or you can use code Danielle10 to save 10% off. All right, let's get in. So I only took the slip out. I haven't unboxed anything else. They usually send a cute, cute, a gorgeous or cute little postcard, and they always like to sign it with a fun message. So this says, "Hey, brilliant choice." I don't know who signs it this way. I can't read their signature, but Atlas, if you're watching this, please let me know who's signing my cards because I would love to thank them personally. Anyways, on to the box. So I ordered mainly fountain pen things because I really wanted to get some new uh, fountain pens and then I also wanted to get this specific calligraphy speedball set and that's because it has all of the different nibs and the different sizes so I can really kind of play with the inks that I have and get the best quality out of the inks that I do have. This is, so these are the Caveco converters. So if you get a, Convec a Caveco pen, they look like this. They don't come with a converter. They only come with a cartridge. So you have to get the converter separately. And I wanted to get the little clips. Those also come separately just so I have one for each of my pens and I like to have all three colors. This is the brass one and then there's gold and silver. And here are the two Cavecos. Everything is always super nicely packaged. I have never had anything broken or anything, yeah, anything missing. Okay, let me kind of get this out of the way here. Oh my gosh. So these are just the little Caveco stickers. So you can put these in your journal, decorate with them, whatever. And then they come with like a little manual usually on how they fill, how you can post them, and then their history, which is really nice. So the two Cavecos I got, I got the green. I think this is sage green. I'd have to go check my slip. Maybe it says it on the package. Smooth sage, there we go. Smooth sage, and I really just love green pens. I, I'm very much a green, brown, white, like earthy toned person. I love being outside. I have a massive garden. Green is just my color. And I saw they had the smooth sage and that they had it. Okay, so I got it in a broad nib and I really wanted to get a broad because I don't have a broad in any of my other pens. With the Cavecos, you can actually change the nibs between all of the pen bodies. So I have the Smooth Sage here. This is the Macchiato, and this one is in a fine. So I can change the fine into the broad or the broad into the fine or whatever. So if I only want to use one pen for the month, then I have the option to change the nibs out for the pen body that I want to use for that month. Really nice. Also, these are great for traveling because they're super compact. <laughs> Anyways, so the other Coveco I got was the iridescent and I was really excited to see that they had this one in the medium nib because I could not find a medium anywhere else for the life of me and so it's just stunning like it's so beautiful and again it's that white like I love white pens I love green pens I love brown pens like just it fit me perfectly and the medium nib I'm super excited to try out since I do have quite a few mediums and I want to see if the Caveco medium is similar to any of the other ones that I have. And the last thing I got was an Atlas exclusive. So if you are aware of Ferris Wheel Press, they released this a while ago, but this is Atlas Iron Ore and it is an Atlas exclusive Ferris Wheel Press ink and I will take it out of the box for you. Their packaging is always stunning. I honestly really like Ferris Wheel Press inks, 
My only complaint is that some of them are super light and you can hardly see them. But here, I'll take this over here and I will zoom you guys in. So as you can see, it's a beautiful, nice perfume shaped bottle. It has the gold nut, which is common for them and it is Atlas Iron Ore. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the shimmer, but I'm gonna give it a good shake. And you might be able to see all of the shimmer floating around in there. But we're going to be testing this with the new pens we just got, and I'm going to do some swatches for you guys. Okay, so I got my setup kind of going here, and this is my plan. So I have these um, like test Tumble River paper strips that I have cut off of some of my old projects. And I didn't want to waste them because it's Tumble River paper and you never know when you want to swatch something, sample something, whatever. So I have extras of these. Also, if you hear any tapping or kind of like a chewing sound, it's my dogs in the background. They have bones uh, that they like to chew on when they get bored. So they will be kind of annoying for a little bit, but hopefully they'll be all right. I also have all of the nibs from the calligraphy set and I will try to order them. Let's see, three, two, one, four. I will try to order them in kind of how they were in the package just so we can test out how they write and how they do. And the speedball holder has a very interesting kind of um, hole where the nibs go in. And I wish I had my Kakimori nib so I could show you if it fits in this or not, but it is very round in shape as a brush holder is. So it does fit some of the more odd shaped nibs out there. Anyways, I'm just going to dip the nibs of the Kavecos into the ink and then use the water that I have here to kind of cleanse them off. All three of these are currently uninked, they are empty. And then I do have a non-shimmering ink to test out some of the calligraphy nibs just in case we don't really want to use a bunch of the Atlas Iron Ore. Okay, all that said and done, let's get started with some swatching. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the Kavecos. I'm gonna give this a good twist once more. If I were inking up my pen, I would not shake it like that just because I wouldn't want to Get, create any air bubbles in my cartridge or fillers. But we are going to start with the sage green, which is the broad. All right. And I'm sure you can hear a little bit of that feedback. That is totally normal um, on the desk that I'm writing on just because it is textured. And I can always grab my cardboard if I need to, but I wanted to see how these would write on a textured surface as well. So that is the broad. This is the medium. I think I spelled iridescent wrong, iridescent white, I think is what it is. And this last one is the fine. Alrighty, and so that is what we are working with. We have the broad, the medium, and the fine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches with the calligraphy nibs over here, starting with the most fine. And this one is very scratchy. which makes sense because it's literally just a very, very fine point. 
This is not as fine, and I do believe this one is a flex, so I am gonna grab my cardboard for this because I wanna make sure it flexes correctly. It's a very subtle flex. I don't wanna push it too hard, but yeah. I need practice with these, clearly, but they're not too bad for, for starters. Obviously, if you were going to be calligraphing full-time, you may not want to do something like this. You may want to get more uh, a better set, but this is just for me to get comfortable with calligraphy writing, just so I can use up some more of my really fun pen inks that I have quite an accumulation of. And the last one, I'm gonna just do one more and I'm gonna do the broadest. So this is the C1 nib and I believe it is four millimeters across. Yes, I don't know if you'll be able to see that but it is four millimeters across. And I really wanted to use this one because I wanted to get in the practice of writing my inks out with these. That is so pretty. I also am struggling since this is a loose piece of paper. Gorgeous. All right, so that is how all of those nibs performed. I'll zoom you guys in for a closer look. So as you can see, the Coveco Broad, the Coveco Medium, and the Coveco Fine are very different, and which is why I wanted the different nibs. And then right here we have the very, very fine calligraphy nib. And then after that, I can fit all of this in the screen. We have the flex nib that I really do need help with because I need, I just need to practice with it, that's all. And then we have the C1 four millimeter. It's almost like a stub nib, but it's gonna be more calligraphy styled. And I don't know if I can get that to lay flat, okay. Alrighty, so yeah, that is everything that I got. Um, I'm really happy with this. I'll let this dry and then I will come back and show you if there is any kind of like shimmering properties since this is a shimmering black ink. And as you can see, the calligraphy nib is very, very scratchy and fine. The flex nib did a lot of variation. It's not super thick, which is nice. The Stub C1 did a really nice inky job there. I think it did better on this than it did with the Atlas Iron Ore. And then you can see the Caveco Fine, the Caveco Medium, and the Caveco Broad and how different the ink looks in each of those nibs. And again, I will bring over the black for reference. And you can still see that beautiful sheen of red. And I hope the camera picks up the very minimal silver shimmer that the ink has. It is quite beautiful. And then, like I said, the O and the L are still a little bit wet, but you can definitely, definitely see the sheen on this iron right here with the red sheen and the Atlas Iron Ore ink. It is gorgeous. All right, so that is my Atlas Stationers haul for you guys today. By the way, it is National Stationery Week from the May 15th to the May 21st. I will be celebrating 
stationary week every single day. Wednesday is National Stationary Day. So Wednesday the 17th of May in 2023 is National Stationary Day. So be sure to check out the stationary shops that I have in the description as they probably will have some fun giveaways or discounts that you can definitely take part in. Once again, I do have an affiliate link and code for Atlas Stationers. It is Danielle 10 so you can save 10% off on your next purchase. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in more content from me, check my Instagram. I will leave my handle on the screen. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.